Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a color pop effect in Adobe Photoshop. So I've loaded my image into Photoshop and what we're going to be doing is removing all of the color from the image except the woman's dress, where we're going to be applying our color pop effect. So to start with, from the layers panel at the bottom, let's create a new adjustment layer. So just clicking the icon and selecting hue and saturation. And from the property panel, just drag the saturation all the way to the left. So it effectively takes the color out of your image. In the layers panel, you'll see the adjustment layer has been applied and we should have a white mask. Next, select the brush tool. And from this menu at the top, select one of Photoshop's nice default feathered brushes. So set the hardness to zero and the size can be whatever you need it to be. Just remember you can use the left and right square brackets to either reduce or increase the size of the brushes very quickly. So this is quite handy when you're working on larger areas, you can use the bigger brush and then you can quickly use those shortcut keys to reduce or increase the size of the brush as you need to. So we have a white mask, we have our brush tool selected, we have black as our foreground color. So as we start to paint in to the mask, the color of the woman's dress starts coming through. If you make a mistake and you go outside the lines like this, just simply press X on the keyboard to swap the foreground and background colors. And then you can use white to remove that mistake. And then just press X again to switch those colors and you can carry on painting. So this is a much less destructive way of working, whereas you may use the eraser tool, for example, to erase part of an image that is very permanent. When using masks, nothing is permanent. So you can even hold shift and left click on the mask just to switch it off altogether or delete the mask entirely if you make a mistake or you're not happy with something. And as always, when you're working with masks, if you make a mistake, you can just switch those colors around and just correct that mistake. So let's just go through, zoom in a bit closer here. And just make sure that we are only coloring the dress. We don't want to get any skin tones or anything in there. So it's always a good idea to zoom in nice and close because it will just give you a, a much higher quality finish with a bit more polish. So we can use a bigger brush here just for these main bits. So let's just get those in nice and quickly. And then when we go to work on the very edges, just zoom in nice and close and just reduce the size of that brush and just carefully paint around the edge. Now this will take a lot longer the closer you zoom in, but it will be worth it, trust me. So we can see that the color is starting to come through and it's looking pretty good, I think. So let's just speed this up now. I'm just going to be repeating the same process. So just simply applying the black to the layer mask to bring the color through and then using white to remove the color from the layer mask. So we'll speed this up and I'll see you in a moment. So we finished painting into our adjustment layer mask. I think it's looking pretty cool. We've got the dress really popping out of the image there with that color pop effect. The background completely desaturated. And something else we can also do is select the hue and saturation layer itself. And if we bring the opacity down to zero, we have our original image. And we can also just move this up slightly. So the background is dulled very slightly, but that dress is still popping out of the image. Or you can go all the way to 100% and have the background completely black and white with that dress popping out using our color pop effect. And there we go, that's how to create a color pop effect in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.